In this question, we're asked to solve each equation and again, give your answers in exact form. It's important you leave your answer in exact form and do not decimalize. So let's start with the first one. So we've got that the natural logarithm of 2x subtract 3 is equal to 1. I can take exponentials of both sides. So e to the ln 2x subtract 3 is going to be e to the power of 1. So this here is clearly just 2x subtract 3. That's going to be equal to e. Now I'm adding 3 to both sides and dividing by 2. So 2x is going to be 3 add e. And x is going to be 3 add e all divided by 2. And I've left my answer in exact form. And I'm done for that first part. OK, next. Um, I'm going to do the next part beside it just to save some space. OK, so what we're going to do is I'm going to say um, for part B that I'm solving 3e to the y plus 5e to the negative y. So plus 5 over e to the y is equal 16. Now I've got e to the power of y on the denominator. So I'm going to multiply everything through by e to the power of y to get to remove this term from the denominator here. And what would I get? Well, I'd get 3e to the 2y add 5 is equal to 16e to the y. Hopefully you can see this. Just where did you get this term from? Well, e to the y multiplied by e to the y is e to the y plus y, which is e to the 2y. OK, now I'm going to bring, uh, I'm going to subtract 16ey off both sides. So 3e to the 2y subtract 16e to the single y add 5 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic in disguise. This is something that looks like 3y squared take away 16y add 5 equals 0. Well, y in our case, well, maybe I shouldn't have called it y actually. Um, let's call it something like um, x even. 3x squared take away 16x add 5 is equal to 0, where x in our case is e to the y. OK, so when you, if you were factorising something like this, if you were solving something like this, you'd try and factorise. So you'd put it in two brackets equals zero. And I'd have a 3e to the y in one bracket and an e to the y in another bracket. I want to multiply uh, to positive uh, five. So I'm going to put a negative five here and a negative one here. And that will do the trick for me. So therefore, we get two potential answers. So 3e to the y take away one is zero or e to the y take away 5 is 0. OK, so therefore solving this, we would get that e to the y is equal to a third and e to the y is equal to 5. And you could take natural logarithms of both sides. So y is equal to ln uh, a third or y here would be equal to ln of 5. And you've left your answer in exact form and you're done. Obviously, um, just a little tip for you, in an exam, to check you've done it right, I would take that there and I would substitute it back into your original and check you get one. And I would take your two answers here and substitute them into this and check you get 16. If you do that, you can be very sure in the exam you've done it absolutely right.